One thing I do want to say before I move on to the next point, do not offer anything in exchange because that is actually against Amazon's policy. Good family, it's Trav Coop from Generation of Wealth Vibes, and you know I had to come back and hit y'all with another play. This video in particular is dealing more with the Amazon and the book selling and how to deal with negative feedback whenever it comes in. So I'm gonna give you some of my game um, that I use over the past 11 years on how to deal with that that bad transaction, right? or that uh, bad customer, or let's just say you made a mistake or the customer was just in a bad mood. Like if you run a business or if you've been in a business for any particular time, you know that this situation is gonna come up. We being humans, humans are gonna make mistakes. So hey, it's not, you know, if it will happen is when it will happen. So let's get into it. Whenever you receive a negative feedback, the first thing I want you to do is inside of Amazon's uh, system, inside of your Seller Central. I want you to click on your feedback, right? And then once you click on your feedback to the right of it, you're going to see a respond button or a reply button. Now, once you click on that, it's going to be a drop down menu, right? Once you drop down in that menu, you're going to see request to have this feedback removed. That's the first option that you always need to execute whenever you receive a negative feedback. We know that most of all the Amazon systems are automated. Sometimes the software may have a glitch and it may get automatically removed. Now over my 11 years, since they implemented this system about uh, maybe about three or four years ago, they did the automated system. Before the feedback removal process was automated, they would have support like VAs that could manually remove the feedback. Now they inputted software or bots to remove the feedback based on case by case in different scenarios within their algorithms, right? So anyway, whenever you click that, sometimes it does or uh, remove it, sometimes it doesn't. So Amazon usually removes the feedback if it has any profanity or obscene language in it. You can just click to remove it and the software is supposed to remove it, right? Number two, if it has any of your personal specific information, like maybe your email address, uh, your phone number, any information about you, if they left that inside the feedback, whenever you request to get it removed, the software is supposed to pick up that and they're supposed to remove it. Number three, if it was a product review or the customer complained about the fulfillment process and it was an order through FBA, the software is supposed to pick it up and remove it, right? Now, sometimes the software can have a glitch. So some of the times when it's not supposed to remove it, it does remove it. So just know when you're dealing with software and bots, there are going to be mistakes. Now, that's always the first line of defense to go there. Number two, the second thing I like to do is actually email the customer. Now, we're going to do that anyway, but I always do it second just to see if it's going to remove. Now, if it does remove it, I would still email the customer to see if I can make the order right if it's something that I did. Um, you just want to always have that high level of customer service no matter what. We want to make sure that we're building our brand in the right way and treating our customers the right way. So even if they did have an issue, they would give us the benefit of the doubt and return and come back and spend with us. So again, number two, let's reach out to that customer. What are we going to say, Travis? Like, how are we going to reach out to them? So what you're going to do, right? You're going to reach out to them and you're going to apologize. You know, you're going to say, hey, you know, I'm a seller on Amazon. And probably if you guys don't know this stuff, you're probably a newer seller. You can just say, hey, I'm new to Amazon and that's not an excuse, but I do apologize about your order. Whatever went wrong, you know, would you please consider removing the feedback and let me make this order of this situation right for you? Now, about maybe 20 to 30 percent of the times I've gotten customers to remove that feedback just off of sending that email, right? So that's another key thing. So don't give up whenever you see a negative feedback. You want to still reach out to that customer, 
Ask them, you know, you don't want to jump on them or demand them to do it, but just ask them if they will consider it, okay? So some of the times that's going to work, and that's a little trick, but just, you know, keep that high level of customer service. Now, one thing I do want to say before I move on to the next point, do not offer anything in exchange because that is actually against Amazon's policy, right? So we don't want to say, hey, you know, I'm going to give you a free coupon this time if you do this. So I'm going to send you a gift card like Amazon doesn't allow that in their policy. So make sure to keep it clean and make sure to read over the policy before you actually try these different tactics to keep yourself in line with Amazon's policy rules, you know, and procedures. Because we definitely don't want to get our account suspended or banned because it is one bad apple with this one bad order. Also, I wanted to put in, whenever you reach out to email these customers, do not send it over and over and over. That is also against Amazon policy. So again, you don't want to keep sending these emails over and over and over. Now, some of the times, whenever you send those emails, you're gonna receive a kickback or a rejection. Why? Because Amazon gives customers the option to actually block any of the messages that come from sellers inside the platform because they get so many messages. So if a customer did leave you bad feedback and you want to actually reach out to them, this is a nugget that I'm gonna drop. What you're gonna do is you're gonna open, put an open bracket and write the word important, close bracket at the top of the email, right? That's going to send it through anyway. Now. You definitely don't want to send this email more than one time. That's definitely a cheat code to get around it, but it's only in circumstances whenever there's a problem or issue with the order and you're trying to make it right. So having bad feedback and you actually reaching out to make that order right would be one of those circumstances, but you just don't want to use that uh, loophole just to send a random message or anything like that because the the consumer or your buyer could report back to Amazon and they could give you a warning or worse they can suspend you or ban you from the platform so please do not use that play all willy nilly I don't want this information to be the reason that you get kicked off of the platform alright guys so my last and final way that I would try to get it removed um, which has had some success in the past and I know you guys gonna be like man Trey you crazy like that ain't real like now nah, it's real I can vouch I co-signed it did work for me that's emailing Jeff at amazon.com right and I know y'all like what you know good and well that ain't Jeff Bezos email and I know it's not but the email does work I know you know Jeff Bezos is on a whole different level he's not checking his email that these random people sending them all kind of messages but it is some kind of support team that after it took me about two maybe three weeks to get an answer but somebody did respond back and they removed the feedback for me now in that case whenever you get to that point and you want to email jeff at amazon.com i'm going to tell you a trick make sure that you're actually in the right and the customer's in the wrong if it's this random email either they're not going to respond they may block any future emails from your account so make sure that you're in the right and, and you know that you're in the right and it was just a bot or a software mistake and they will correct it and make it right for you so say for example if you had profanity in the feedback and like they was cussing you out you know left and right and the when you went into the program and the bot didn't remove it if you email jeff at amazon.com it may take a little while a few weeks or so but somebody should respond back and remove that email manually for you. So that's another play that you can use to remove your negative feedback. And the ultimate best advice to avoid the negative feedback is to be proactive in any issues, right? So whether it's dealing with your customers whenever you have a problem, let's keep that communication A1. If you already know it's going to be an issue, go ahead and reach out to them. Let them know. Stay on top of that bad boy the whole time. Make sure you're shipping on time or a little bit before. Make sure all your items are in the correct condition. Nine times out of ten, you're going to be on top. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, sometimes you can run into a customer having a bad day. But hey, that's life. You keep putting out the positive energy, not only through your fulfillment, but also through your customer service. And you're going to win more times than not. And most of the time, that love overpowers hate. So even if they come off at you as cranky or snappy, 
once they see your attitude is calm and positive some of the times I've been able to get people to switch and do a whole 180 and apologize to me for the way that they were acting or responding to me so hey that's the game on what happens when you get a negative feedback and how to get it removed it's Trap Coop from Generation of Wealth Vibes and hey I help people who are financially frustrated build or develop multiple streams of income leveraging Amazon and monetizing their skills and talents. If you hadn't already, slide over there to IG and follow your boy at Travis underscore GWV. And man, if you hadn't subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, man, please click that subscribe button. Man, we trying to make sure everybody gets up. I'm trying to add value and solve problems. Y'all be blessed. See you on the next play.